Hey friends, Jackie here from Interact, and I'm still reviewing AI video editing tools. Um, the one that I'm working on right now is called WiseCut. So let's go ahead and share a screen and jump right in. Now, previous to recording this video, um, I created a video uh, using Pictori. Now I totally messed up in that video. And what WiseCut hopefully is going to help me do is cut out those specific sections of the video that I don't want to publish where I'm step. Um, and so I want to show you how I'm going to be using WiseCut to see, you know, how we like the platform and if this would be uh, worth your time if you are making videos like me and mess up sometimes. That's okay. So I'm going to hit create new project. And I believe this is the video that I want to upload. Yep, that's it. So from here, I think the Zoom controls are in my way. There we go. I just opened the video. I didn't actually put it in. So I'm going to go ahead and click add media and then click here. I could have dragged it there. There we go. So I'm going to click here to browse files. And I believe it's this one here. Should be 10 minutes. Yeah, perfect. Open. Okay, so here's the video. I'm going to hit upload. Super easy, even though I messed that up too. See everybody, we're all learning together. So this is uploading. And the biggest thing that I need to work on here is there's a section of content that I spoke about that wasn't accurate. So um, I was trying to cut a video. What am I trying to say? I was trying to cut a video into a shorter version of the video, but actually what Pictory does is takes text and turns it into video. So there's a certain chunk in this video I'm uploading right now that we're going to have to remove. And it also, WiseCut should also cut out um, pauses which are definitely in this video. Um, and I believe background noise as well. So let's see how, what we come up with as we use WiseCut to do this editing rather than me manually going in, watching the video, recording the times that I need to adjust things and then cutting it out myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And then this project name is gonna be called Pictori Review because that's what I did in the video that I used. The spoken language in the video is English. And then this is important. So you wanna make sure that you are toggling on the things that you want WiseCut to do for your video. Um, automatically punch in and punch out. In other words, scale in the shot to look like there's an additional closer camera. Oh yeah, let's do that. Auto duck is the music automatically gets quieter whenever there's a voice and louder in the absence of voice. I like that. Sure, let's add background music if it makes sense too. I definitely want to auto cut the silences and then I do want to smooth the cut. So this is probably the biggest concern that I have with doing this using a, a, a video editing tool, really any video editing tool is if you're cutting out chunks of the video, I can appear like I'm jumping all over the place and that might be distracting or just weird. So I hope that doesn't happen. So I do want to keep the smooth cuts enabled. So um, yeah, let's also cancel background noise, although I don't think there is much in this video. And then we'll bake in the caption. So when you export your project, it'll be integrated in the video. I don't think I want to do this because I'm going to be uploading this video to YouTube where we can get the captions from there. And I don't want double captions. So I'm going to leave that one off. So create project. Awesome. That's all I have to do, I guess. I'll hit pause on this recording and I'll come back to you once I get an email from WiseCut with what that video looks like. Okay, friends, other than WiseCut not fixing my hair because I didn't realize it was hanging over my headphones like it was, I think this is a really fun tool. So I watched a, a bit of the video before coming back on record here, and it did a really good job of cutting out. You can see here it's cutting out sections without making the video seem jumpy at all. Now, this could be that if you look at what I am sharing, there's my funny hair. Um, it could be, this is what I want to show you, I'm sharing screen, so my video is pretty small, so it could be that it's just not as noticeable because the video is small, um, but I didn't notice it on the larger screen share either of uh, what was appearing. So what I'm going to do now is kind of go through this because there are chunks in here that I already know, like I said earlier, uh, 
I misspoke. So I want to take those out. So if I go down and I guess I was wondering, I was wondering who Fran was, but I was saying, hi, friends. So if I edit this, I can go right in and update the captioning, which I think is really cool. Okay. So Jackie here from Interact, we're reviewing the best tools. Here's another one I noticed. If you click on edit, I was just on the Pictory website. Check. Um, the removed sections are great. I have not even signed up for an account yet. This is what I want to delete. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that moved. Did I do it properly? Here, I'm going to hit delete. There we go. Uh, I'm not signed up for an account. This I want to delete. Now I'm, chuck I'm cutting out a big chunk of my video here. So we're about to find out if like how the jumping looks, right? Like how does it look on screen? I'm going to delete this. Oh gosh. So what I'm hitting is the little scroll bar over here on accident. Uh, rather to see how it's like right over the delete button. So I want to get rid of this, this, this is fine. And I'll see you on the other side. This is the part where I misspoke. So I'm deleting that whole chunk. This, I believe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So I'm going to delete all of this. This is much easier, I will say, than going through and having to like mark timestamps and then upload to iMovie or something similar and actually finding the specific sections and cutting it because I don't even have to watch video. <laughs> See, there I am. Oh, no, I realized I misspoke. Um, oops, delete. delete. I was telling our video editor, Jesse that she's going to have to do all this work, but thanks to wise cut, I don't think she's going to have to delete, delete. You can see I'm deleting a big chunk here. Okay. So I'm going to go right into here. Okay. So I'm logged in what I'm going to do Took a video that I already put in clips into shorter version. We can put them reading here. Yep. Okay. So this all looks good. It's already removed the um, sort of like silent sections of the video. So that really helps because if you're on YouTube and you want to shorten, like, uh, look, this is seven minutes and 50 seconds now. I think previously it was a little over 10 minutes. Um, so just removing, I know I did cut a bunch of um, content above, but just cutting all of these like sort of silent sections, three, sec three seconds here, one second there, four seconds there is really helpful in shortening the video so that it's easier for your viewers to watch it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think everything else should be good. And let's see. I'm going to hide the, oh, this is cool. So I can hide their move scenes so that I don't even have to worry about like looking through those. I don't need to reorder everything. Everything looks good, but this is really cool. If you were speaking out of turn or wanted to move something, maybe as like an intro or something, it looks like you can even copy specific sections. So maybe moving something later on in the video to the beginning of the video. I really like that. Select scenes for a short video. Okay. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to select it, although I hope that this exports the whole video as a whole. Create project from scenes. Let's go ahead and click this. Oh, I see. I have to go through and select the scenes first. So if I close this, I want to know how do I export preview and export? I'm just going to go ahead and export in this, the audio and the video, and I'm going to leave the captions off, like I said earlier, export video, so that when we upload this to YouTube, it will have its own uh, captions on YouTube. 
So it looks like this is in progress. We'll notify you by email. So I'll go ahead and pause the recording again and come back to you once I have the final video and I've taken a look at it. And we can go over some of those cuts so you can see if it jumps or not and how wise cuts did. But so far, so good. Definitely would recommend this tool as an editing software because it was so easy to review the transcript. Um, and cut out those sections that I didn't want. But also, WiseCut did all of the work in removing the little tiny silent sections where you're kind of thinking or regathering your thoughts. Um, so you don't have to keep pausing the recording as you're going. So I really, really enjoyed that. Um, so already WiseCut, two thumbs up, awesome. So I just watched the video and it's pretty good. I really enjoyed the background music. That's something that I don't typically add to my own videos because I don't know how, I do know how, but it takes a lot of editing time, right? Um, and so that would take some figuring out, but WiseCut just did it for me. So I kind of liked that. Um, the things that I did not like about how this video turned out, well, first of all, let me say, I cut wise cut cut this video from 10 minutes and seven seconds down to five minutes and 47 seconds now i did take a big chunk of the video out but by removing all of the sort of silent sections throughout the video of me thinking and pausing maybe looking at the screen it chopped it down to half the time so five minutes is really where i want my the length of my youtube videos to be at because that's typically the retention span that we get or the attention span that we get from our viewers um so the thing that I didn't love about the video editor is right here. Um, I believe I, ch I chose a setting in the system that had it zoom in to different parts of the screen. But you can see here, this is not an ideal view of what I'm looking at on the screen. Whatever I'm trying to figure out over here is not showing on the screen. So I feel like this is a little bit of wasted space. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is either keep this as is with this unideal image, or I can go back into WiseCut and untoggle that setting. So let's see. I am going to stop sharing just to make sure that you're seeing what I see. I'm going to go back into wise cut. And if I go home and I open this project, am I able to preview and export? It's this smart close-ups created with auto punch-ins. I didn't love that. Um, but what I will say is what I was nervous about, the, the um, chopping up the video, would it appear that it was very jumpy and uh, um, it looked edited. I didn't notice that as much. And look, 45 jump cuts were created. So 45 times throughout the video, I stopped and then it restarted wherever I wanted it to pick back up. And I didn't really notice, although it wasn't perfect, I didn't really notice. Uh, it wasn't distracting to me at all. And perhaps the video helped with that a little bit too. Um, so I don't know. I think I'm going to have to re-upload the video and then just turn this auto punches off and then redo the whole process, which I don't love. I would rather just go in here and edit something, but it looks like once WiseCut makes the edits, they are what they are. Um, all I can really do here is preview and export it. There's no way for me to edit this video. Um, the other thing that I didn't love is on the video itself, you have the WiseCut uh, logo up here in the corner, but when I'm sharing my screen, when I'm sharing my screen on here, you can see it's totally cutting off my video. So not like a total deal breaker, but just a little frustrating um, because it looks odd, right? I would prefer this logo to be down here at the bottom or not at all, but I'm assuming that you can remove this watermark with a paid plan. Remember, I'm on a free account. So definitely a fan of WiseCut. I will keep continuing to play with this tool because it did save me a ton of time in editing. So kudos to WiseCut for that. Um, I think this is a tool that improves with time and experience. So once you really know how to use it, what you're looking for, um, what you want it to do, it does all the work for you once you tell it and then you get the video that's super easy to connect uh, and whatever. Oh, as I'm chatting, if I reopen the project, let's see. Ah, cool. Th so this is what I wanted to change 
here. I'm going to turn off. Okay. Wise cut, you just gained like 10 more points. So I'm going to turn off the auto punch here. Um, I'm going to leave the background noise on. I mean, the music sometimes was a little bit loud, um, but I don't think it was distracting. If anything, it made me like more uh, in tune with the video. I, I was like keeping me there and enticed. Uh, so everything else looked okay for me. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn the auto punch in out off. And then I don't think there's anything I can do about the watermark again because I used it for... I'm on the free plan, but that just made me so much more happier that I could fix the amazing, um, that I could fix the auto punch in and out because that was the one thing that really stood out to me. It's like, oh gosh, this isn't the best video to publish because nobody can see what I'm doing on the screen when I'm sharing it. So that my friends is wise cut a uh, big fan. If you are finding yourself editing your videos, trimming out middle sections of pauses and maybe mistakes that you're saying, uh, or tripping up on your words, wise cut is definitely something that you're going to want to check out and try because literally with the click of a couple of buttons, it does all of the work for you.